to ACE TV. I'm Jennifer Rondolo, joined here with our markets analyst Jessica Gao. And today we're going to be talking about our Australian Trade Finance uh, Markets Program. So Jess, what can you tell us are the most prominent themes from this round of reporting? Um, from this round we're definitely seeing a shift from uh, the export of resources like iron ore to a more service concentrated area like tourism and education. So this turn means that almost a third of all the institutional companies will be uh, very likely be switching their primary trade finance provider in the next 12 months. Okay, and how uh, would this affect the banks? Uh, there will be a clear battle between domestic and international banks. Uh, international banks at the moment are expected to be the front runner, just uh, mostly due to their tremendous uh, mind share and uh, international recognition advantages. Uh, so to put that into perspective, if all the banks have the same level of market share, um, international banks will receive quadruple the amount of recognitions that domestic banks would receive uh, when businesses are asked to recall a um, trade finance provider. Okay, and how about the domestic banks? How is this affecting them? Um, right now, it's um, having different impact on the domestic banks. So ANZ, for example, is doing tremendously well. Um, it is the biggest provider in the institutional banking uh, market and is rated as uh, the best trade financier across most business segments. Um, another big four, um, on the other hand, is struggling quite a bit to maintain its market position. Um, its consistent decline has been the trend for a couple of years. Uh, so we're starting to see a lot of the historic uh, dominance being carved away by the competitors. Okay. Um, well, thank you, Jess, for sharing some light on our recent trade finance report. Mm -hmm. And we hope you can join us again for the next East TV.